here we are at the Hare and Hounds. And I'm closing in on one of the creatures I found. Oh, it's a bunch of guineas. And in the background, we can hear some beautiful music being played. And there's a clientele. There's somebody reading the news of the world, or pretending they can read the news of the world. <laughs> And as we pan off Tick's <laughs> laughing face, we find the gorgeous Shazza from Dublin. And my gorgeous girl, Leslie, from Birmingham. Hello, Shaz. How are you, Brian? It's been very nice spending the afternoon with you. And I understand you won the competition to win a meal. I know. Look at the shock on your face. <gasps> Can't believe it. How, did it. how on earth did that happen to you? I have no idea, Brian, how that happened. I, no just think, I just think it's the look of the Irish, it for is, one. It, it is. Look and I think it's because you're with a yam yam. And it's, <laughs> as the Irish, what am I saying? And all the Irish saying, <laughs> rub a yam yam's hump for good luck. <laughs> so, give his give his hump a rub. Where exactly is his hump? Back, <laughs> <his hump. laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we are, we're in the Hen Hounds, the Soul Food Sunday, and here's our tick. How are you doing, son? I'm fine, thank you. It's lovely to see you. And you, mate, to be fair. Thanks for coming and spending the afternoon with me. It's been a pleasure. And, um, to well, we've, we've, well, with the gorgeous Sharon, of course. <laughs> but, back to her, right, right, right. But, you know, as you were, as you were ignoring me all afternoon, no, I, haven't I, been ignoring I was working right. on the decks. <laughs> Right, to be fair, I haven't, I haven't been ignoring you because I can only see six stone here, to be fair. You, know you can mean? disown me. I could only see six stone of you. So <laughs> I'm the Karen Carpenter of Reggae. I lost you behind the beer pool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the Karen Carpenter of Reggae. I'm very Wasting proud. Away. So, um, did you have a nice meal today? It was lovely, yeah. And was the music good? Did you help the food was, go down? Do you know what? It was seamless. It was seamless, seamless, well, between the tracks, yeah, the tracks yeah. joining together. They just it blended together perfectly. Oh, thank the you, DJ Jay. Was the DJ, I am an impeccable, impeccably nice. talented DJ. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's <laughs> Jay takes a little face there. I'm just going to go in for a close-up on his gorgeous face. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> and um, what did you eat? Did you, did you have a normal sort of roast dinner? or a, no, I had, um, I think I had what you had. The jambalaya? Yeah, but without the fish. Without, yes, okay. Because you're not into fish. No, no, no fish. And what did you think of the jambalaya? I thought it was really nice. But I, I had it with a lot of hot sauce on, and uh, it's very nice. And my pals that run this, it's not why I'm here. It's, um, I'm filling for a DJ, Andrew Dubber, who's normally He's up in Argentina this weekend. He's a music lecturer and a, a, you know, at university. He's a lovely yeah. guy. And um, Do you get paid for it? I do not get paid, no. Do you, do you think no. there's a reason why you don't get paid? <laughs> I, I can't, I don't know what you mean by that, actually. But um, the thing is, no, I don't get paid, no. I come in and I love, I love to play music. And um, I actually spend, I usually spend about 60 or 70 quid <laughs> buying drinks for people who come to say hello to me. No, that's the truth. Total strangers. It's yeah, no, they can be strangers, yeah, that's all right. But they know. I might, they might be a stranger to me, ah. but I'm not a stranger to them. And I count myself lucky in that because wherever I go, I could be on my own and I meet people and go, hello Brian, how you doing? And uh, it's an odd, you know, it's, it's not a normal life, of course. It's a bit of a It is a hard life. It, well, it might sound like it, but it's not, no, it's actually, I feel, I feel blessed to have the kind of life I have. And hold on, just, there's Matt just zooming past on his duties. And as he comes through the door there, you'll see his little face come through, there he is. And the reason he only weighs seven stone, which is a bit heavier than me, is him stairs. Because the kitchen is up stairs, and he does 600 circuits at his place per setting, per season. But um, it's been a lovely day. So, yeah, do you want to film me for a bit? Oh, yeah, you can film me if you feel a bit embarrassed. So how has your day been, Brian? It's been nice. I've been playing jazz and rock steady and blue beats all day. I feel, you know, I'm very lucky and you came along, saw you. A friend of mine from the past, an old friend of mine, Rob. 500 quid, those glasses. 500 quid. He's got 15 pairs in 10 years. And they don't even swim. I got through loads of them. I was in a place the other week and they got robbed off the bar. No way. And How did that pair. happen? So I'm down to these ones that might be a little bit, look, look a little bit like an Austrian or a Dutchman. <laughs> Lovely afternoon. Um, I, I manage, you know, I don't like to drink a lot when I'm working. No, I've so noticed. I, I noticed. Nine points. Yeah, nine today. Bless you. <laughs> I don't know how you manage. I managed to slip in a pint of cider along the way. I saw which that. Tick bought me. Yeah. And you know, it was a bit cloudy. There were bits of. You know, <laughs> it looked a bit sheep. strange. Hips and sheep. There was yeah. some bits of sheep. It in did there. look a bit odd. 
didn't look all that uh, tasty. But I think to myself, <laughs> it's a very lucky guy really, because you know, every day it's filled with nice people. Yesterday, I was recording with a band I play with called the Alternative Dubstep Orchestra. Yeah. There's about 155 of them. There's violins, DJs, double bass, all sorts. I forget, there's too many of them. And we were recording all day in Coventry, a place called Musical. And in a week I was rehearsing with them and with a band called the Friendly Fire Band. Alright. Yeah, excellent. The best reggae band in the world. I mean, they are, I mean, you know, and like you're supposed to say to yourself, that these guys are, they're the pickup band for anybody who comes into the city. So any artist who comes from Jamaica, they instantly play their tunes. So I'm rehearsing with them and I'm playing, doing a gig with them with Luciano and Tipper Irie oh, and yeah. YT up at the Reggae City Festival next week. Oh, in, um, that's at the Rainbow in Birmingham. Oh, wow. That'd be good, wouldn't it? That'd be lovely. Yeah. See, for me, I've spent my life going around the world playing gigs. Yeah. yeah. You know, like all them big joints. Yeah. And that's alright, but you never meet anyone. The little local ones are good though, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, because you know them joints, you drive in from your hotel into the backstage. Yeah. And you only meet people mm. who you're working with. Yeah. Because no one can get backstage. It's exactly. all passes. Yeah. These gigs, These you meet ones, everyone. Yeah, you meet the local people. You get, even yeah. get to meet the musicians you're working with. Exactly. And that's, that's a lovely thing. And then my wife sitting behind. There she is, our kids. Oh, gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> She loves the camera. So I'm doing that next week. I'm going to do a Leslie special. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great record here in the background. DJ is fabulous. It was a hit in 1937. The Invisible DJ. He's good, isn't he? He's fantastic. He's the best DJ. Best DJ I've ever seen or not yeah. seen. And I'm doing. I'm also doing a gig with a little band called Major Tom. Right? Major Tom. And that's because they're playing David Bowie in Roxy Music Songs. And it's a special birthday party gig for a DJ. And I can't say his name because it's a surprise party. Uh -huh. But we're rehearsing all those songs. And they're like fantastic Roxy Music Songs and David Bowie songs. I don't know if you like all that stuff. I do, I love all that stuff. I love this one. It's called Sata. It's like Gladiator's yeah. Journey. Did you see the way I put that on? It was seamless. Yeah, and you turn the shot and come back. It was almost like you never moved. It was like. Wasn't it? That was exactly what it was like. Honestly. Okay, give me my camera. <laughs> you have big bollocks, yeah? And, uh, and I think it's probably wise to finish up. And my glasses, there they are. Just lying there.